When you cut your skin, your body springs into action to heal the wound. First, the body works to stop the blood loss by reducing the amount of blood flowing to the wounded area. Proteins in your blood, such as fibrin, work with the blood plasma to form a protective covering called a scab. While your skin regenerates underneath the protective layer, the scab protects the wound from the outside infection. The wound is gradually healed as new granular skin tissue begins to generate. Starting with the edges of the wound, the new tissue forms and works its way towards the center until it has covered the entire wound. Once the wound underneath has sealed itself with another skin layer, the scab will fall off on its own. If the cut or scrape is a shallow one that only affects the outer epidermis layer, then there shouldn't be a scar where your skin has healed itself. If the cut went deeper into the dermis of the skin, then sequestration begins and your body moves to create fibrous scar tissue from the granular tissue. In general, the worse the wound, the greater chance it will end up in a scar. Your body needs three to six weeks to bridge a deep cut producing a protein called collagen at the site of the wound to repair it. Even after the wound has healed, it can take up to two years for the scar to settle into its permanent